I go, uh, of course, congratulations to all the projects that you have been doing for the province. What are you doing right now in terms of agriculture, knowing that Tarlac is one of the biggest source of uh, agriculture products. Yes. Thank you, Monty, for this opportunity to explain what Tarla has to offer in terms of agriculture. No? Um, to many, probably, they don't know that um, Tarla produces were top three producer of rice, um, top three in the production of hogs, and uh, pol uh, poultry uh, plus vegetables. No? And um, apart from our rice, sugar, and corn, we also produce a lot of vegetables, some of which we already export to Japan and other countries. Um, we all know that um, recent studies have shown that uh, farmers are much older now, no? and um, the young ones are not being very active or do not want to follow in the footsteps of their fathers and grandfathers in agriculture. But um, this we had to think for me, I find agriculture and farming very exciting. The business potential it has to offer. Um, so we've, uh, with my team of agriculturists in our office of the agriculture, we've, um, we've crafted a, um, a program where we've introduced agriculture in schools, in high schools, to make agriculture very exciting. So from organic, they produce their own organic fertilizers. We supply them with all the seeds that they need. And um, we show them even the business side of it, that they can make money out of it. So um, I've shown you earlier some pictures of the schools already doing this. And they're making money out of it. And what's fun is that they're putting the money that they've earned back to the school. So if meron kailan they repair the classrooms or they need improvements in their um, facilities, they themselves, the proceeds of this, uh, no, have gone back to the school. Initially, the yeah, initially, Gob, how did they accept the idea that you have of uh, bringing in agricultural uh, education and uh, application in, in the schools? Gulayan sa, sa skwelahan, eh, sa paaralan, no? So, um, why not? Eh? Even if we're an agricultural country, the province, no? marami coming source of food, you'll be surprised that meron din kaming malnourished and underweight children. So, um, we have Kusina ng Kalinga, we have centralized kitchen in certain um, schools, one in each uh, town. Uh, so yung galing kong gulay doon, we work with Depe on this, and children have to learn about nutrition. Eh? It's all interrelated. Food source, to uh, um, weight, lifestyle, ang pagkain nila, di ba? Is um, the whole cycle. Um, the children now find it exciting. Hindi pala siya kasing boring nung dating naka-expose ka sa init, no? There are ways to do. And when you see yung produce mo na namunga yung, yung talong, yung kalabasa, it, it's so fulfilling eh? and the kids love it, no? So, down the road will be there be some more buyers of the ideas? Would it be rolled out in the entire province? It is rolled out in the entire province. Um, uh, I have 17 towns and one city, so we've rolled it out in most of the schools that have land. Meron um, silang extra land to cultivate and to grow vegetables. Um, complete cycle, Monsi, eh, no? from production. I've also helped my SMEs no? producing. Um, we teach them to better yung mga kalamansi, yung rice, yung iba-ibang production. So we go on high-value crops, and um, I've taken my SMEs in different uh, trade fairs in Japan, in China, para ma-expose sila sa iba yung produkto na pinoproduce in the region, and makapag-compete din sila. So it's a full cycle, no? Um, but yung interest, syempre, has to start with the young ones. And then, dun sa mga middle age na, yun na yung entrepreneurial side of it. Hanggang sa so and so forth. I try to connect the whole cycle. So this will be your legacy, Governor. And uh, do you think 
uh, we have an issue on food security. Sa Manila siguro, kasi wala nang <laughs> arable land dito sa Manila, no? So, but in uh, in terms of sa amin sa Tarlac, sabi ko nga, it shouldn't be an issue because everyone has a backyard. Just grow a few chickens, may kambing ka, magtanim ka ng kamatis talong in a small plot of land. You don't need big to be able to have that. Um, and that's what we're trying to teach sa mga barangay at sa mga school languages to process our vegetables. We lack in um, certain, and I want to teach with the weather now, no? Climate change is here. It's too hot in Tarlac, no? In summers, our prediction, our forecast, aabot na ng 42 degrees ang summer namin. So, hirap na ang vegetables. So, what we're doing and what I want to come up with is to introduce greenhousing talaga, no? Um, para medyo climate controlled ang pagproduce ng ating mga gulay. So, Wow, this is amazing. No? It's fully integrated, basically. Um, 2020, what can your constituent expect in terms of the agri-industry and the other industries? Uh, I mentioned to you earlier, creating that balance, no? Because there's, as I said, so many, so much interest in Terlac now because um, with the development of New Clark City, um, there are many investors and speculators who want to, of course, we need also industrialization and commercialization in our province. But we have to create that balance of agriculture for food security and in the same way providing jobs no, for others who are in other industries. So all of this po, we're now creating, ang laki ng trabaho po namin, we're doing actual mapping of each of our towns um, para ma-create na, we still produce rice, we still produce the much needed um, vegetables we have, poultry and chicken, um, expansion po, and ng aming uh, aquaculture, kasi kami landlocked. No? Getting more interest pa, um, talagang more intensive on our agripreneurship for the young. Um, support to our farmers really in terms of techniques and mechanization, modernization. I like the concept of agripreneurship. No? It's the first time that I heard it. Um, what led you to come up with this kind of concept, Governor? After I've spoken to a lot of our farmers, parang they don't understand the concept of, you know, planting rice is never done. <laughs> parang ganun na lang po, no? And, um, kuminsan, when I talk to them, they'll come to me, certain cooperatives would come to me and ask, Ay, ma'am, kailangan namin ng harvester, kailangan namin ng tractor. My question is, they should be able to quantify, diba? Bibigyan ko kayo ng tractor, how does that give you savings per hour? Hindi nila po kung minsan naiintindihan yun eh. So I think what's missed out is they know how to plant, to till for vegetables and rice. Pero yung financial and business side of it ang kulang. So ito po yung, that's why I'm bata pa lang, we have to introduce that there's business to it. No? Why in other countries? farmer with one hectare can make so much money. Eh, dito po, three hectares. Bakit, uh, that's where we come in to teach them and make it more. Kaya agripreneurship po. Any message to your constituents, go? Oh, you know, it's best to grow your own food. Diba? Whether it's for um, personal consumption, yung extra, ibenta po natin. And number one, you know what kind of quality ng pagkain na tinatanim natin, free from pesticides. Um, and uh, ito funny ha, Monsi. We give away, I give away, we, as, as an assistance, the Department of Agriculture in the province of Terlang, we, as, we assist our farmers, lalo na rice farmers na, we give seeds, no? But when I ask my farmers, sino sa inyo ang bumibili pa ng bigas, ng rice nila? And the rice farmers, 100% of them. Isn't that ironic? 
Ikaw na nagtanim ng rice, you sold it at such a low, uh, low price, and then bibili ka ng consumption ng pamilya mo, mas mahal. Eh yun lang po, lugi na eh. So these are the things we want to change no, about the concept of agriculture. Um, it's exciting for me when you see something that you've tilled and na may potential kitain dun sa produce. Um, agripreneurship, farming is uh, the way to go. And you see it all over, not only in the Philippines. You see it in civilized and modern first world countries now. In every plot of park, land, space that they have, they're converting it to um, fruit bearing, vegetable bearing um, plots, diba? So um, this is all food sustainability.